year, New York's foodies flocked to a huge street food competition. Immigrant street vendors dreaming of success enter their signature dishes into competition. <laughs> Among this year's entrants, 36-year-old Chinese-born Ben Wang is hoping to win big with his dumpling recipe. I have very big percent, you know, chance to win. Because I already know what we're doing. Ben shared with us his dreams of taking on New York with the flavors of home. It's lunchtime in Midtown Manhattan's business district. Huge lines form in front of the different street vending trucks. Their popularity lies in offering specialty cuisine at reasonable prices. Street vendors used to sell snacks like hot dogs, but recently the number of vendors putting out restaurant quality food has increased dramatically. Just counting licenses issued by the city, there are 4,000 of them. Asian street food vendors on the rise, too. They say that the easy availability of cuisine from around the world has transformed the way New Yorkers do lunch. I'm Maho Honda. I came to New York five years ago to pursue a career as an actor. Today, I'm meeting Ben Wang at his vending truck. Keep me busy. On the menu is Ben's own brand of Asian fusion. Yummy! Ben's piping hot dishes are all prepared on the spot. is open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. No matter how many customers show up, getting the orders out in the shortest possible time is the name of the game. Thank you very much. Yes, I will. I have number 19, the tofu, tofu teriyaki, spicy with the white rice. Ben's wife, Alice, handles the orders and the money. His cousin Ning is a sous chef. As the operations frontman, Ben wins the customers over with his singular sense of humor. Spicy? Extremely spicy. All right, I make it something hot like you, all right? Well, I work right around the corner. And so I come down the street here. The dumplings are very, very good. And they're very nice. So. I've had the dumplings before, and they're my favorite. The last time I ordered, I also had the bok choy. Um, and it's really, really good as well. I decided to try out Ben's homemade dumplings for myself. It's a chive, right? Yes, a chive and pork. While vending trucks gain popularity, one downside for vendors is the sharp rise in competition. At midnight, Ben is already behind the wheel of his truck. He's got to snag a good spot for the truck.
Midtown's business district is the most competitive arena in the street vending game. Last night, I was there around 4.30 in the morning. I can't find a spot. He expected to be the first to arrive, but others have beaten him to it. He has no choice but to give up. He quickly moves on to another spot. Fortunately, there's not a truck in sight. However, with three cars in the way, he still can't park his truck where he was planning to. I don't know why. Amazing. You call it amazing. <laughs> I call it nightmare. He was planning to park the truck and go home to a full night's sleep, but now all he can do is wait. You're chained with the truck. I feel like I'm married to the truck. An hour later, two of the parked cars have moved. But there's still one left. He decides to stay here all night, just for the chance of moving that little bit further forward. At 6.30 a.m., in the nick of time, he snags the best possible parking spot. At the start of the lunchtime rush, 11 vending trucks are squeezed onto this block. Uh-oh. There are three trucks in front of vans. They are all illegally parked. Even though he worked so hard to secure this spot, today's customer turnout is uh, disappointing. Uh, tomorrow will be the better day. Hopefully, tomorrow is the better day. The rich taste of Ben's dumplings comes from adding three different soy sauces to the recipe. It's based on the secret formula handed down through four generations of his family. Ben was born in Fujian province in China. At 16, he emigrated to the United States with his parents. Before long, he was saving up money working in restaurants, including a few Japanese ones. With his heart set on becoming a street vendor, he finally managed to buy his own vending truck in January of this year. Ben dreams of using his food truck as a springboard to open his own restaurant have a family business, maybe a restaurant, you know, settle down. I live in a, live in a, you know, live in a, live in a happy life. Just like, a, it's part of my American dream, you know, with my families. A big opportunity has come Ben's way. His customers have nominated him to enter a street food competition. Winning a prize will be great publicity and bring him a step closer to his dream of opening a restaurant. But suddenly, he's faced with a setback. His generator has broken down, and if it's not repaired, he can't cook. 
In a crisis, rival street vendors are quick to help each other out. In his enthusiasm, Ben had added too much oil. Finally, it's up and running. Thanks, God. The God had mercy on me today. Thanks, <laughs> Let's bet to work. <laughs> Gonna make a lot of food today. I have very big, percent, you know, chest weight because I already know what we're doing. The competition begins. 2,500 foodies will vote to select New York's top street food vendors. Ben's truck draws a big crowd. Hi, Ben It is, it is. Yeah. The authentic flavor of Ben's dumplings is a hit with the foodies. I checked out Ben's competitors. Here's the line for a stand serving Australian meat pie. It's a mincemeat pie topped with mashed potatoes, beans, and gravy sauce. This stand got rave reviews for their grilled cheese sandwich topped with maple syrup. They are all formidable competitors. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. People who have finished sampling food are casting their ballots. The deadline approaches. Ben hands out cards to promote his name. Vote for us, please. Please vote for us. Please vote for us. The results start coming out. The cinnamon swing! One by one, the winners are announced. Unfortunately, Ben's not among them. Of course, it's great advertising for my truck, for my, for my, for my, for my um, rest coming restaurant, or for my own names. You know, let the people really know what you serve and what, what, what exactly where your food come from. Immigrant food vendors have made their mark on New York's food culture. As an actor, I find inspiration in their tenacious spirit. It's a mobile, it's served in the public, and the New York City just kind of place that people come from everywhere. Food truck is a very, very modern icon as a food business, especially in the city.